Hi, I'm Zach with Lonesome Dog Studios, and in today's video, we're going to be going over Logic's drum replacement and doubling feature. Let's go. So before we start, drum replacing isn't going to turn your terribly recorded drums into a masterpiece. It's a tool to clean up, uh, fatten, experiment with, with your existing drums to improve on them. First, I'm going to show you the drum track in question that we are going to be replacing and doubling. In today's video, we're going to replace the kick drum entirely and replace that with a MIDI kick. And with the snare, we're going to double the snare. So we've got an example of both. So I'm going to play the track so you can hear what it sounds like. Yeah, it sounds a bit weak. Cool. Obviously, these are unmixed. These are raw, recorded straight from my recording session. They will not sound as great, but I'll show you a finished mix at the end of today's video. Right, step one. Step one is replacing the kick. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the click track, kick, click on the kick track, the entire kick track. Be careful not just to click on one region, but the entire track. Track, replace or double track, double drum track. So it's going to analyze for the transients. And here we go. That was, that was easy. <laughs> so what we've got to do now is find the, actually, first we're going to click kick drum mode. We're going to replace or so replace. All that will do is mute the existing drum track, which isn't necessary, but we're going to replace that. And then we've got to find the threshold to capture every single kick drum but without capturing bleed from other instruments and also not enough where we're missing kick transients. So we're going to click preview. This will play the track and we will eyeball it and listen out in case we've either missed, missed transients, which it doesn't look like we have or we've got too many transients if it's capturing uh, like bleed of the snare or any other instrument that you've got going on in the background. But it seems to be all right. We'll check that throughout the whole track. If there are any extra hits in, it's better to capture too much than too little. Then you could just go and delete ones rather than trying to exactly fill in manually missing hits. That would be a nightmare. So we've got, we're gonna click, ignore the rest of this, click OK. We should have this MIDI track now. It might sound a bit uh, weedy because it's just the default um, kick sample and it's probably at a very low velocity, which it is. It's only at 11. And what we will do first is probably turn up these velocities to quite... Depends on what your track is. This is a, like a heavy rock track, so we're going to have a pretty aggressive kick throughout the whole song. That's already much better. So yeah, that's a replaced kick. Logic will automatically open up various samples. They're all listed down here. So we could just quickly choose some of these if you want. That sounds terrible. That sounds that's better. But yeah, so choose whatever sample you like. You can also import your own right onto the snare. Now we're gonna be doubling the snare. It's a decent snare recording. It doesn't I wouldn't say it needs to be doubled. It doesn't sound terrible. It's not ruined in the recording process. There's a standard 57 on a snare, which you can never go wrong with. But we're going to be, for the purpose of this video, we're going to be doubling it. So track, replace or double track drum. It's going to analyze the transients again. Then we're going to click double snare. It should, once again, it should threshold. It kind of auto sets it to what logic kind of thinks it should be, which most of the time is pretty bang on, but obviously double check. So we're going to click OK. Mini snare. Bang. So depending on your style of track, this is a pretty aggressive rock track, as I said earlier. The snare is pretty, it's pretty full on throughout, so there's not going to be many capturing problems. Sometimes with more dynamic songs, where there's quiet sections and loud sections and fast sections, especially with a snare as well, because you have ghost notes, for example, that sometimes won't, won't think their snare hits, it'll think they're like bleed of the kick, so it won't capture it. So you might end up having to do things manually sometimes, but 
it's quite easy. The snare is often much more dynamic than a kick, I find. So you'll see this is based on what is analyzed as well. So some snare hits are really loud and some of them are very quiet. So what we can do for now is we can velocity limit or fix velocity, depending on what you're going for. We'll just use a velocity limiter for now. Limit that to 90 and then turn everything up again. Also, so if Logic hasn't opened um, the list of uh, samples on the left, you can do it. Click on the sampler, use this drop down, factory, drum and percussion, drum, single drums, and then we can click snares, acoustic snares, and there, there they are there. So we can go through a list of these one at a time. It's important when, when choosing a sample, it's important to listen to not just do something that's completely different to the existing stair. You want, you want something that sounds realistic, unless you're going for unrealistic, which you can use a range of sounds. But I'd, for this track, I'd compare what the snare listens to in the overheads. And find something, find something that will that will match it or that will suit it. That's actually not far off. That sounds pretty similar to the existing snare, so we're gonna go with that. So now we have a replaced double kick and snare and we've chosen the samples and we've adjusted the velocity. If you do have more dynamic sections like little quiet snare rolls or just a quiet section in the song, when analyzing, say if this bit, if this was a, a different song, we'd, this bit probably wouldn't capture these snare hits because it's so much quieter than the, the other snare hits. So what we would do is we'd drum replace this region, we'd only click, we'd only click this region, and then after that, replace this quiet section separately. So yeah, send a quick fix for that. With these replaced kick and snare MIDI regions, we can either leave them as just using a sampler to adjust whatever you want. Also, the sampler has a very handy envelope filter ADS with ADSR controls. So for example, we can get a really tight kick sound. Say if our kick, kick drum sounded okay, but it was just missing that transient punch. We could just, just having the punch in, or we can just go back to the full kick. But we're replacing the kick, so we'll stick with that. But anyway, what we can do with these two regions is we can use the glue tool, I think, I believe. There we go. And so now we have a kick and snare on one MIDI track. So with these two regions, we can use uh, MIDI's drum kit designer. So we drag it out of this track stack I've put it in, click unmixed or or premixed ones if you like. And see now the advantage of using this is that we've got emulated overheads, a kick in, a kick out, top snare and a bottom snare. And also the samples you hear here are from this drum kit. So this is Logic's drum kit designer which has a lot more realistic um, samples. So these, these samples have a degree of randomness, so it's not gonna be the exact same sound every time you play it, which is slightly more realistic. So we can choose from any of these. I think you can download additional. But yeah, very useful. And we also have room mics, emulated room sounds, which I think sound great. I always, I, I love room A. <laughs> but yeah, it just gives you more control, more options. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to skip ahead to a mixed version of this track with a replaced kick and a doubled snare. So here is the mixed. Oh, it's not even mixed because I don't have the plugins. So here is a nearly mixed version of the drums with a replaced kick and a doubled snare, as you can see. I'm obviously missing some plugins because I have not installed them plugins, but it will sound relatively okay, I believe. There it is, a replaced kick, double snare, easy peasy. 
Sweet. So there it is, guys. We've replaced the kick. We've doubled the snare. It was quite easy to do. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.